Can we tell the entire story rather than just one piece of it? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a Lafayette, Louisiana judge by the name of Michelle Odenay, who was captured on videotape using the N-word repeatedly at her home. Now, when this story was first presented to me, it was like, hey, ABL, have you seen that tape of the judge using the N-word? What's your thoughts on that? Give me your two cents on that right now. And my response was, well, I don't know what happened. I've not seen the tape. I don't understand what's going on. Let me do some research to figure out what's happening. And I most certainly did that. I was able to uncover the original tape in question that kind of has gone viral on the internet. And then I was able to see subsequent news reports from out there in Louisiana. Now, what we're going to do is watch both of those. And if you want to see both clips, the original video and a news report in full without my commentary, the link will be in the description box. But we're going to watch it right here together to figure out what's going on and to give proper context. So without further ado, let's go ahead and watch it. Watch. The, the goes, why are the lights when, when I pull up in the whip, they be saying, God. Why are your lights on? They're like, pull up, pull up. And mom's yelling, Look, I, oh, that's me. No, that's I came from the backside. Look, he trips over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he trips over the wall. So what I presume is going on here is that um, the judge is watching the video with her sons and they were capturing a black guy after I guess he did something. We'll talk about that in a minute. Kenny was standing. I'm the one that took him down. Kenny's just standing there. Uh -huh. He lied. <laughs> that was his wallet. Yeah. That's my phone where it fell out. The dude had a phone on him. He should have taken his phone and stolen from him. The and now I'm going to have a gun. It's important. Well, watch. Okay, so you saw that. Now, before we even get into the news report, I don't use racial slurs or any curse words in my regular everyday life. Anybody that knows me know that I'm a real, you know, straight lace kind of guy. That's just me. So I'm not one of these guys that say, well, if you black, you can use it. If you white, you can't. I don't, I don't play those games because I don't use it, period. I don't want anybody to use it to me, and I won't use it against you. I won't use it against myself or anybody else. That's just how I operate. How anyone else operates, I'm not really sure. But there are certain times where you may see a different side of me. You may see me go beyond my character, outside my character. Now, I'm not saying they are outside of their character. They could speak this way every single day. I have no idea. I don't know them from, from Adam or Eve. But let's watch this news clip to get a little bit more context into the whole situation, shall we? Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. A city Lafayette, a Lafayette City Court judge, I should say, is being called to resign after a video admittedly taken in her home contained racial slurs. Judge Michelle Oldney said that she and her family were the victims of an armed burglary at their home this past Saturday. So let's pause. <laughs> let's pause right there. So let's go back to what I said from the very beginning. It was presented to me like, hey, have you seen that clip of the judge using the N-word? What's your thoughts on that? It was not presented to me like, hey, did you see the clip of that judge using the N-word after her home was invaded or after the car was burglarized or whatever it was? I mean, they didn't talk about that part. They didn't talk about how the person they, they were calling the N-word was also a burglary suspect who got locked up for the burglary. They didn't talk about that. Now, does that change the context a little bit? Because understand this, if this person were to go into their home and try to do a quote unquote burglary, but then since their home is not, it's like a robbery, home invasion or whatever. If that person were to have been shot and killed, nobody would care. You wouldn't even go to court for that. So, I mean, like, let's put it in context. So we understand exactly what's going on. That person was not being called the N word for no reason. But let's see some of the reaction from people out there in Lafayette, shall we? 59 year old Ronald Handy was arrested and charged with two counts of simple burglary. Lafayette Police Sergeant Paul Mouton confirmed with News 10 Handy did not have a weapon when he was arrested. But the story developed yesterday when a video surfaced with the N word being used by a man and woman amid laughter while surveillance video was being watched. Judge Odene said at the time of the video, she was on sedative and has no recollection of the recording or the language used in it. 
Now, I don't believe that part at the end. Oh, I don't recall. That's typical lawyer stuff. And, you know, just for people that may not know, most judges are like they, they were probably lawyers yesterday. You know, you go from being a lawyer to a judge and sometimes back and forth. You can do that in America. So that's typical lawyer talk. I believe she knew exactly what she was talking about. I don't really buy this whole excuse of being on sedative. But at the same time, can you blame her? We'll move on. However, not everyone is convinced, and some leaders are asking for more from the judge. News 10's Nils Rang is in studio and shares their reactions. Neil. Thanks, Dalfred. And everyone, if you have not seen this video yet on social media, it's not great listening. And it was very difficult for Lafayette City Marshal Reggie Thomas, who works to protect the judge every day. When you go to court and you know somebody has they have uh, say those type of words. You cannot be comfortable in court thinking that somebody is going to treat you correctly. But let's put it in context, though. You're not giving the whole thing. Like, I understand. Like, I don't use racial slurs myself. That's just me, though. But let's let's talk about what the person did in the tape that, that caused the reaction. That, like, we're not going to talk about that. I could see if she was talking about you in a tape just for no reason calling you the n-word then i'd be right there with you i'd be like she gotta go because that's a racist person just unprompted using words like that but a burglary suspect they, and you caught the guy right there on the i mean come on black folks will say much worse about him if he was burglarizing their home or their car or home invading or something like that and like i said if the person was to go inside the crib they can get shot killed and it wouldn't even be a court case so I, i'm not really this this whole I'm a hurt type thing. I'm not really buying too tough, personally. So this is a problem. This is a major problem. City Marshal Reggie Thomas is the first African-American elected in a citywide seat in Lafayette. When he heard about the video circulating online and thought he heard racial slurs from Judge Odenay's mouth, it hurt him. A weak apology will not suffice. When called about the video, Judge Odenay emailed us a statement. She said, the incident shook me to my core and my mental state was fragile. I was a wreck and am still unable to sleep. I was given a sedative at the time of the video. I have zero recollection of the video and the disturbing language used during it. Anyone who knows me and my husband knows this is contrary to the way we live our lives. I am deeply sorry and ask for your forgiveness and understanding as my family and I deal with this emotional aftermath of this armed burglary. As the report spread, so is the outcry. The Lafayette NAACP president asked for Judge Odenay's resignation, even that her decisions concerning people of color be rescinded. State Come on. Like, that ain't that ain't going to happen. That's, that's not going to happen. Like, what, what I want to see is, you know, how some of these people have been sentenced down there. Because I know one thing I was watching a while back, I'm not sure if it's the same thing in Lafayette, but in New Orleans... You got these guys that go through a revolving door of shooting and killing people because if there's not enough evidence to um, keep you in jail for like 90 days, I, I forget the way it is. Basically, if there's no witnesses that come forward or it's not enough evidence, 90 days, you get released. It could be a murder case or whatever. OK, and these guys are going down to Houston, Texas after the hurricane back in 05, you know, committing murders and stuff like that. And they'd be sitting in jail waiting to get out in 90 days. But Texas is different, so they were not able to get out. My whole point is that there's a problem with actually locking criminals up in Louisiana. So I'm not really sure that her her sentences are going to be unfair, but it could be. But I, I don't think it's because of the language used in the video. State Senator Gerald Boudreau is requesting the Judiciary Commission of Louisiana investigate, as well as the Louisiana Black Caucus. It's nothing funny about what my ancestors went through, who were called that word. There's nothing funny about it. Let's respect those who were beaten, who they took the fire hoses out. So that's what it brings up. That's the. I mean, you're talking about civil rights. Let, let's not compare apples to oranges. Let's compare apples to apples, okay? You're talking about civil rights, fighting for equality and laws to change versus a guy that burglarized a car, allegedly, and or a home, allegedly. That's not the same thing at all. Let's, you know, <laughs> let's make sense here, Mr. Uh, Boudreaux. Hatred that it brings up. And so 
Do people feel comfortable? No, they don't. None of the people behind the voices heard on the video can be seen as the camera is pointing directly at a screen showing security footage of the break-in attempt. But after Judge Odenay's response to the burglary and recording, some just can't accept nothing being done about it. True character is shown in the worst of times. We could talk about apologies, we could talk about resignations, but I think what we have to talk about is accountability. Don't make excuses for something you did. Man, oh man. Okay. Um, here's my thought, here's my closing thoughts on the whole situation. I don't use racial slurs. I don't advocate anybody do it. I'm not in favor of that at all. I'm all about respect. Respect me, I respect you. But then when you break in my house, or you break in my car, it's like, at what, well, at that point, what happens? Do you, are you still owed the same respect? Are you still owed the same decency and courtesy that I extend everyone else? Is, is that what's going on? Again, if you come into my crib and cross that, that, that gun line, it might be, it might be a, 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 a party in there, you know, a, a firecracker, fireworks, firearms party. I don't have any because, you know, tragic boat in an accident. It was terrible. Kids crying. But I'm saying, I, I just don't really understand the outrage for this criminal. I think it's more just about people being sensitive about words being used. And, oh, well, if she said that right then, then what did she normally say? All this and that. I think it's just kind of overblown. I'm not in favor of any kind of virtual swords or any kind of curse words, really. But I'm not going to say that somebody needs to get fired for that. I, I think that's a little bit overboard. If you're going to do a review, do a review, honestly, and look at some of the sentences. And what you probably end up with is uh, really soft sentences. A lot of these judges and some of these areas, you know, it, they kind of go soft on people. And that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem with criminal justice right now. It's not that there's too much sentencing. People are not getting football numbers anymore in the penitentiary. People are getting soft numbers, let off out par with parole real easy. That's the actual issue. So if you're going to do a review of her sentences, do it fairly rather than just trying to find some dirt. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about the N-word video? Are you offended? Uh, should she be fired? What should happen here as a result of the video leaking? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I stand. I think this is really a nothing burger. Okay, I mean... You're talking about a criminal, somebody that broke into your, your car, or your house. Like, I don't really understand. I could see, I would agree with people that say she need to get fired. If you're talking about just a regular person that was not a criminal, that did not break into her house. I would understand it at that point. But for this, I, I think that's just not right. That's just my personal opinion. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share hand subscribe peace